Hi you all, thanks for tuning in to my live stream. It's great to see you all here. I thought I would tell you a little bit about Miss Jet Set. I am up for a cover of Miss Jet Set magazine and $50,000. I somehow made it to the semifinals, which is super, super exciting. And I am about seventh place right now in the semifinals, so I'm close. <laughs> um, but to get excited and get you all pumped about voting and going to vote for me, we did a little questionnaire and I wanted to... Hi everybody, thank you for joining. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I wanted to answer some of your questions here. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to send them in. Um, I'd love to see you send in some questions. So I got the question, what is my fashion inspo? So some of you know, I do have a retail shop on Alberta Street. I sell resale clothing. And I also have an uh, in-store brand called Altered States. And with Altered States, I have been really inspired by living in downtown LA. I lived there for about six years before I moved to Portland. And I have a very street style, oversized, relaxed, baggy, comfortable vibe with a Southern Cal like little tank underneath like a baggy flannel. Um, I've also been really inspired by moving to Portland because Portland is very Columbia and Nike and you gotta stay warm and it's rainy. So I love to combine oversized like street clothes with some wintry uh, fall like items just to keep you warm. Hats have been really fun. Um, I love hoodies and anything that keeps you warm and comfy basically. It is freezing here. Um, you asked about some photo tips and I could literally go on and on about this subject forever. So um, if you want to see more you're also welcome to follow my Teresa Flowers photography Instagram account. I post strictly my photography there. You're welcome to go sh share some love, show some love, and say hi over there. Um, but uh, so here's some photo tips. So uh, shoot, 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 shoot all the time, shoot everything, shoot your friends, shoot your family, photograph your dog, photograph all your little outings everywhere you go, um, learn how to use Lightroom, spend a lot of time editing, get feedback. Um, feedback can be hard, right? Because it's hard to like have somebody review work and be like, oh, your, comp your composition could be better or your exposure is off or why isn't this in focus, you know? Um, it's good to get a mentor, get someone that you can work with who knows more than you and who can help you expand your knowledge and someone who as a mentor also has maybe the business side that you can also learn from. Um, I do have a school called Creative Development Institute. You can also go find us on Instagram. I work as a mentor with a small select few of students and we work one-on-one. -on -one. It's really exciting. Um, also, here's some other tips for you. I would reach out to Instagram models and just say, hi, you're beautiful. I'd love to photograph you and start building your portfolio and word of mouth will spread with other models that they've worked with you or they liked working with you. Well, hopefully they liked working with you, right? <laughs> Um, reach out and share, like share on your Instagram. Um, also follow other Instagram accounts of other photographers and start networking. Become friends with these people. Tell them you like their work. Go volunteer or intern for other photographers or other people in the industry that you really like. Um, that's a really great, great question. And, and if anybody else has any other questions, I'd love to hear. Uh, my favorite Portland spots. I love this question because it's definitely unique to me. I really, really love being outside, which is one of the reasons why I moved here. I absolutely love the rivers and I love going to the rivers. And one of my favorite spots is Rooster Rock. It is a nude beach. It's super, super fun, especially in the summer when it's nice and warm, but it's also really beautiful out there even right now. It's probably pretty cold and perhaps a little bit muddy but it's gorgeous. And if you love nature like I do, nature is my God, so I love being outside. It's my way to connect. 
um, Rooster Rock's pretty fun. Um, if you don't enjoy nudity and you don't enjoy being around sometimes random creepy dudes and you don't feel comfortable standing up for yourself or you're not around other people that stand up for yourself, it can have mo on, in, on moments it can be um, a little bit frustrating in that way. Um, I also love Savi's. Savi Island is so, so pretty. Um, it's also a nude beach. It also has a lot of the same similarities and issues that Rooster Rock would have. However, you can wear your swimsuits to all these places. In fact, I do most of the time unless I'm feeling really comfortable with my butts. Um, Savi's is beautiful. Um, and then I thought I'd tell you about my favorite coffee spots. So Alien Mermaid Cove is located on Alberta Street. So I'm in this area a lot. Uh, I love Case Study. Case Study has delicious coffee. Cafe Vita, I think even has better coffee and it's just on the other side of Alberta. And Barista is also an Al on Alberta. It's the least of my favorite coffee shops. However, it's still super delicious and they have lots of locations all around. Uh, Portland's so fun. Oh my gosh, I even just went, a, not last weekend, but the weekend before I went to like a bunch of vintage shops and Lizard Lounge has like all these um, furniture and then the house of vintage which was really fun to go check out there's a lot of really great vintage shops zigzag wanderer is located right underneath my shop alien mermaid cove and just so you know if you don't know alien mermaid cove is going to be open on the weekends hopefully hmm, maybe in a couple weeks to a month we're still trying to get it reopened um there's a lot of work to do so stay tuned for that uh, i got a question that's that you asked, what is it like photographing fashion? That's a really fun question for me because I was lucky enough to be at New York Fashion Week, LA Fashion Week. I've worked with some of the biggest models, most beautiful people in the industry. And I have to say it is downright hard work. New York Fashion Week is one of the hardest things I've ever done. I photographed probably 17 hour days. And then at the end of my first 17 hour day after photograph photographing Cara Devangeline and then being on stage with Wu-Tang, <laughs> one of the greatest joys of my life is being on stage with bands, hip hop artists, talented people, musicians. Um, and it was so super fun. There's nothing like really pushing yourself to the limits to get the shot. <laughs> And being surrounded by that kind of beauty is so inspiring and the gowns and the energy and oh, it is just such a delight for, for me to just, and I just, I love working hard. I, I love, it's kind of similar to shooting a wedding. It's like, go, 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 go for like 10 hours. You're photographed like a hundred or excuse me, like 400 people. Um, also, I've worked with a lot of brands, especially when I lived in downtown LA. Um, I've worked with a lot of local brands and PDX. What I love about photographing fashion is collaboration, working with beautiful models, working with a great hairstylist, makeup artist. It's fun to have support when you're shooting, like having a great stylist, having great assistants, being in a beautiful location, and just the magic that happens when you're shooting, especially, I mean, when you're working with high-end talent as well, some, the beauty can just like floor you and the magic, like they can just really just turn on and you can just get some really, really amazing shots. I really love working with creative people, people who pull out all the stops when they're shooting, models who aren't afraid to have fun, to do something different, to switch it up. Um, Photographing fashion is one of my favorite things to do, and um, I'm looking forward to doing a lot more of it, especially with my own, my own brand, Alien Mermaid Cove. We do shoot all of our clothes in my studio, Teresa Flowers Photography Studio, and it's super, super fun to work with all those clothes and um, come up with great outfits and really use that way to express myself. Um, Photography is so cool because you're not just shooting, you're also using all these different parts of your brain. So you're just so engaged and it's super, super fun. So does anybody have any questions? If so, send them out now. You can also DM me for any more questions. And I really appreciate you just tuning in and showing your support. And it would just mean so much to me if you could just take the time to vote, if you could even share Miss Jet Set with your friends. You can vote every day. Right now it's two for one vote, so it's just like, helps out just that much more. 
and oh someone asked what i was going to do with the money how did i miss that question so with the fifty thousand dollars i would use the money to get a space a new space that's bigger that can host creative development institute my photo school and also have alien mermaid cove my retail shop in the front so we can utilize the clothes the furniture all the up upcycle clothes i do in all the photo shoots with the students so we'll have all of that right there um i also in the shop will have a mini gallery with artist friends, my art, um, local art, and um, in the space we will have hopefully two photo studios is how I envision it, but you know, we can start small, we can have one, um, so we can be training and working with the students on a daily basis and also shooting um, portraits, weddings, um, basically we, I shoot anything and everything. So well, there'll be a local stu uh, photo studio where people can just schedule. And yeah, so that's what I'm planning on doing with the money. It's, it's funny cause it's like, it's a lot of money, right? Um, but it's also not a ton of money. It's not actually enough money to start a business. I mean, it's, it's enough money to kind of think about starting a business, but you really need about three, two to three years of startup income, um, to get through your first couple of years so it would be just a start is just just be a seed to help creating that and um, it would just not only obviously contribute to my life but it would be contributing to students from all all over the world um, also we do offer scholarships so marginalized individuals will be able to take art classes we'd also love to have scholarships for kids um, low-income children um, to take art classes and it's gonna be a really, really magical creative hub. And hopefully it will just keep creating and bringing people in and be a space where that all that creativity can just keep just spreading out into the world. So you would be a part of helping create that dream and helping bring more creativity into the world and supporting your artist friend who's through a really hard COVID time has been hanging on for dear life just so I can just keep making my work and creating my art and contributing to other like budding um, photographers so whew, that's a lot and um, I just appreciate you being on the journey and every little bit helps so um, thanks again for tuning in and being on this ride with me and uh, love all the hearts Thank you. Mm, lots of hearts and COVID-friendly hugs for me. <laughs> All right, DM me. Talk to you soon.